Police in Copenhagen today arrested more than 200 people during a second day of protests outside the World Climate Change Conference. For the past three decades, a Seattle-based photographer has been traveling the world and documenting its changing climate with remarkable photographs. And that's tonight's Sunday cover. My talk with James Martin about his book, Planet Ice. Well, I started um, on, on the path of doing this book in the Canadian Rockies. Um, in 1975, I learned to ice climb in the, on the Athabasca Glacier by rappelling into a uh, crevasse of maybe 30 or 40 feet and climbing out. And when I returned about five years ago, the ice was gone. There was not a trace of it. All I could see, all I could see was boulders for half a mile. And so when I saw what I loved literally melting in front of my eyes, I wanted to uh, alert people. Yeah. Make you sad? Anyway, Sad and angry. When you look at a place like Greenland, where yeah. I, I know you've been as well, what, what's happening there? The sea ice around there is melting at a, an amazing rate. We've lost a million square miles of ice, which is the same area as Alaska, Texas, and California. And we're predicted to lose another million in the next 20 years. Yeah. And I also went to a place called Alulasat. Um, when I was up on the glacier, there was no place you could put up a tent where there wasn't a puddle of water. Big change. Big change. I wonder, going back over the 30 years, the more than 30 years mm -hmm. you've been doing this, I mean, the changes must be incredible. Even in, in Antarctica, the ice shelves, they're totally disintegrated. Areas the size of Rhode Island just crumbled and went out to sea in a matter of three weeks. Is there any, any particular area in this country that you can point to and say, here's an example of the world becoming a warmer place? Well, the most I ironic example would be Glacier National Park, which used to have glaciers that were hundreds of feet thick, and within a couple of decades, there'll be no glaciers at all. There's just a few remnants left. It's, it's shocking. It's just rocks. Is there, I mean, is that gone? I mean, is, is, can that ever come back? Oh, it can certainly come back. We can't um, stop uh, climate change in its tracks. It's kind of like a super tanker. But you can put on the brakes and stop making it worse. I saw some research that showed <laughs> that fewer Americans today believe that the world is warming up than yes. a few years ago. Does that disturb you at uh, all? Yes, it's, uh, it's disappointing because the facts are clearly going in the other direction. There is a cost for doing nothing. You can have uh, rising sea levels, which could happen. It's happening at a slow level now. Uh, wilder weather. Um, and also the loss of beauty, I think, is a, is a tremendous loss for everybody. President Obama attends the Copenhagen Climate Conference on Friday with other world leaders when most of the bargaining on greenhouse gas cuts is expected to take place.